Hey guys, Trey here from Better Not Stop and the Better Biz Network. I'm here with Patrick from the Royal Society of Arts. Hey. And we're here to do 17 questions. So Patrick, tell me a bit about what you do. So I'm the North of England manager for the Royal Society of Arts. Uh, the RSA, for those who don't know, is a 260-year-old charity promoting innovation across the world. Over the last 260 years, we've also got involved in things like uh, starting the first school examination board. Worldwide Fund for Nature was founded at one of our meetings. Yeah. Right up to the present day in 2020s, we're still encouraging that sort of social innovation that will take us off into the future as well. Okay, that's very interesting. What's something that has inspired you recently? So on the journey here, I was listening to my Spotify. There's a band called Panic Shack, and I was listening to their song, I Don't Really Like It. And it's this tour de force, power pop, punk anthem about telling horrible man to get to get is it to, to sling his hook and i think that's the sort of thing we need to encourage more of in the 2020s <laughs> okay, fair enough. well patrick it is time to move to a quick fire questions yeah yeah give me a top green tip um always take a cup with you to your coffee shop what's your favorite plant or floor I don't know, do people have favourite plants and flowers? They, don't, they all look nice to me, just more plants and flowers everywhere. Yeah, fair enough, okay. What's your favourite sustainable brand right now? I think the sooner we can get away with the whole concept of brands, the better everybody would be. What is your favourite drink of choice? Uh, Carver. Okay, a really quick one. How would your best friend describe you? Quiet but determined. Okay, let's move on to our impact questions. If you were a sustainable super, superhero, what would your superpower be? Um, my superpower would be that I'd suck all of the carbon out of the atmosphere. Okay, interesting. But how would you do that? Now, superheroes don't give away how they do their superpower. It wouldn't be a superpower if they told all their secrets. Yeah, you don't ask Superman how he flies. You wouldn't ask me how I'd suck out all the carbon out of the atmosphere. I'd just do it. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. If you had to ask the government to change one thing, in terms of sustainability, what would that be? Um, invest massively in onshore wind. Mm. Um, not only is it good for the planet, but I really like the look of it aesthetically as well. What does the word sustainability mean to you? Uh, it means doing things that with at least one eye on the long term. There's too many people and too many organisations and corporations only do things with, 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 with a view to a turn in a short term two yeah. quarter three quarter profit we need to get much more into the longer term decades long decision making yeah very true very true what would you like to do before you die not saying you're going to die anytime soon but what's one thing you'd like to accomplish or just do in general there's always a kind of a, a conflict that if you create something are you creating the 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 one new standard that people would flock to or are you just creating yet another thing that will clog up the atmosphere and clog up the people's brains? And I think what I'd like to do is find a way to say that we can create one, one way of, uh, of sharing information to help people to learn from each other. Uh, but I know that if I tried to do it, it would just add to the maelstrom of things that's already there. Mm. Okay, my final question. What legacy would you like to leave behind? I think I'd just like people to think I was an all right bloke. <laughs> okay, Patrick, thank you very much. This has been 17 Questions. Thank you.